Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, today, I um, saw a post on Craigslist about a free neon sign sitting on the side of the road someone was giving away. So, just messaged the uh, person. He said it is still sitting out there, but it's about a 25 minute drive. So, we'll uh, see if it's still there when we get there. of suburbia. Ah, looks like it's still here. Cool. I didn't bring the tripod, so that's the angle you get. All right, we got it. We'll take it back to the uh, shop for an assessment. And here it is, it's a Miller Lite sign. I haven't even had a chance to uh, check it out because I just kind of grabbed it and ran. But <laughs> so uh, initial inspection, kind of take a look, see if we see any breaks. Looks like we got some, some of the paint flaking off. That's kind of typical when you paint a tube. Paint doesn't really stick well to glass, but that's kind of the cheap way to do it. Instead of using real colored glass, they use white glass and paint over it. Um, so this is a mass produced sign. I'm not really into beer signs all that much. Um, I got a couple, you know, uh, up there, but more into the kind of the one-off sort of deals. But uh, hey, you know, if it's free, why not? So let's flip it around and let's see. Clip that came undone. Let's flip it around and take a look at the back. <sighs> okay, we got an Allenson transformer, 10.5 kilovolt, 30 milliamps. Date, there we go, April 2003. So, I mean, it's almost 20 years old. The listing said it hasn't been turned on in like 10 years or something like that, so it's kind of a mystery. I'm just kind of looking at the general, all the tubes look to be intact, at least from what I can see. So uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna run with it. We're gonna plug it in and see what happens. And uh, hang on, I'll put you on a tripod. Looks to be loose chain. Oh, those could come in handy later. I don't. I haven't pulled this switch at all. Oh, hey, check this out. This says four position switch, dim off, bright off. So it's kind of a mystery on <laughs> when the last time that switch has been pulled. Could be off. Could be on. But. Um, I'm gonna plug that in and find out. All right, and... I saw a blink, but I wasn't looking at it. Let's try that again. Well, Probably a dead transformer. Oh, in front of it says Fallon. See, it's an old Fallon neon sign. They went out of business uh, in the early 2000s, I believe. So, I yeah, thought occurs. Uh, maybe I'll try to switch anyway, see if that does anything. So, I mean, it could be the transformer's dead, uh, it could be the switch is bad. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get the spark coil uh, and test the tubes. 
All right, what we got here is a spark coil. It's essentially a Tesla coil. It produces a high frequency spark. And we can use it to test the tubes. Right, that one's good. We have blue. It looks like they're all lighting up. It's, uh, they're kind of dim. So we could have a dead transformer or it's possibly the tubes are going bad. So do a little more troubleshooting. Uh, next thing I'm gonna try is a new transformer. We got our two leads from the transformer going up to the two electrodes here. Let's see if I can get those boots off and hook up a new transformer and see if that's our problem. With old signs like this, I mean, well, relatively old, it's almost 20 years, but these boots, the rubber can get stiff and it can also stick to the paint. You gotta be really careful when you're trying to get these off. Um, a lot of times it's just easiest to cut them off like a razor blade or something. This one, oh, here we go, this one will come off. If you can, uh, if you can kinda give it a little twisting action, you can see I'm holding the tube with one hand while I'm pulling on the other, providing as much support to the tube as I can so I don't snap that tube. Slide this guy down. Modern boots and caps, modern ones are made out of silicone and they are a lot more flexible and they don't get stiff and brittle like this. Now this is awful. I can pull it down this way. Push the wire up through there a little bit without breaking the tube. Look, there's a wire nut in there. Wire nuts are not rated for 10 and a half thousand volts. It's ridiculous. Let's see about this top one here. See if we can twist it a little bit. There we go. A little bit of twist and then uh... twist and a pull. Oh, come on. I got wire nuts getting hung up in there. Another reason not to use wire nuts. I do not like how much these tubes are flexing. Okay, there it goes. I think, I think, I think. Get that thing out of here. All right, now we can take these wire nuts off, which shouldn't be here in the first place. Untwist the leads. Uh, this old transformer, these GTO leads. GTO is high voltage wiring, stands for gas, tube, and oil. Carefully. Gas tube as in like neon, and oil as in like an uh, oil burner. All right, so got the old transformer disconnected. You notice it's Maybe you can see, but it's unplugged from the wall, just in case that switch is wonky. And I gotta find a new transformer here. One second. All right, finally found one in the stash. 10.5 kilovolt, 30 milliamp. Uh, same as the one that was on there. So I got it hooked up to this sign. A uh, little bit of a disclaimer, I would advise against messing with high voltage electricity unless you know exactly what you're doing. So, but now that we got this hooked up and we'll see if this works. Got the switch on the wall, three, two, one. Hey, look at that, nice. So, I guess it was just a dead transformer. Dead transformer after all, let me switch the ISO. All right, that's a little better. I like looking at uh, Neon with a lower ISO. So, if indeed this sign has been off for 10 years, we'll see some places where the tubes look a little dimmer than others, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera with the, the white tube is a little dimmer up here than it is down there. The blue tube has some slight differences. There's, um, what happens is the mercury condenses out and it needs to warm back up to uh, vaporize again. 
So this Miller tube, this looks like crap because, well, that's just painted and it is crap. So uh, you can see there's white underneath there. Um, and the only way to fix that is to either scrape off all this paint and repaint it or have it remade with actual classic colored glass, which would probably cost more than this sign is worth. So, well, that's cool. Uh, all I had was a bad transformer. That old Allenson transformer down there is dead, but uh, tubes seem to be uh, working just fine. So, nice. Not bad for free, I guess, for the cost of gas. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, hit subscribe for more neon-related videos. And we'll see you next time. I forgot to measure the tubes. Let's see. Outer. That 12 millimeter. Uh, yellow tube is 10. Blue tube is uh, 9. And the Miller is 8. All sorts of different shapes and sizes here.